Hi guys, um, this is uh, Pegasus Ads from uh, Audits from uh, YouTube, obviously. Um, I haven't been around for so long uh, due to lockdowns and uh, everything else, as we all know. Um, but I'm out in Holliston today in Hertfordshire. Um, it's just about, probably about 20, uh, about 15 miles from me. Um, I've had a lot of experiences in this place. <laughs> Been here about 100 odd times, no further action. God, it's mad. I was remanded in Hoddleston Police Station for breaching a, a, a court order and uh, court bailed me after three days, so it weren't too bad. Um, but as you can see, it's now shut. Um, it's quite a big prison, uh, police station, sorry. Um, but this is Hoddleston now. Um, if you were arrested in Hoddleston, um, you'd have to go to Hatfield. Um, police station which is the main station here um, and if you're in further right out in Broxbourne you get taken to Enfield or somewhere like that um, but Hatfield's the closest from here um, which is a bit annoying if people are, you know obviously um, do crime and all this kind of thing but anyway I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll take you on a quick tour I can't get in because it's all boarded up which is a shame um, as you see in the blue blue boards this is the wall where the custody bit is, just the other side. Um, there was something like about 15 cells, 20 cells, something like that. Not big, but um, yeah, it was it was our main police station at the time. Um, I'll take you around to the other. This is this is basically where it's all boarded off. This it's been like this for about about seven or eight years. Uh, they were going to reopen it, but because of the cuts and all that, they didn't bother. Um, so, like I say, Hatfield uh, is the nearest one in Hertfordshire. Um, I'll just take that. This is where only a little space where the car, uh, police cars used to uh, sit. Civic Centre over there. Um, it's quite a nice little area. Um, the only problem, I mean, you've got a Civic Centre which hasn't been used for a while, obviously through lockdown, so I don't know if that's going to carry on. Um, also, you've got like the NHS, which is like a walk in, like small miners. <laughs> I'll take you around. This is where the police used to come in uh, to park. Um, and I'll just go down this ramp, still the wall. Still got some houses around the side. That's a nice building. Very nice building. Um, but yeah, as I'll come down, there's a few houses down here. Um, I'll uh, it takes a little while. It's a nice day today, actually. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, this is where the police cars would come in for custody, uh, obviously. And this is the back, back entrance. There's the pin code still there. But this is where the police drive you in. Um, obviously there's the cells around here. It's all memory. <laughs> uh, obviously police parking and stuff like that. It's all closed up, it's all secure. Um, the prison van used to sit outside um, to wait for inmates, obviously the remands, to take them to court or recall to prison. But there's the there's the little size, there's the interview room, um, the DNA, no not interview room, sorry, um, hang on. I think that's the DNA room where you go and have your photos and fingerprints taken and then you've got the interview rooms here on these two windows. Um, it was quite scary at the time, but you know what the police are like, they try and fuck you over on anything. But here's the, this is the main entrance. Um, main entrance of the building. As you can see, it's not very, very big, but you've got all the offices up there, it's quite big. Um, there's the front entrance. There's Boxbourne. And uh, if you come this way, this is sometimes where you'd come in for an interview, like uh, voluntary, so they'd let you in the side door. Pin code's still there, but it's quite big, as you can see. It's got loads of offices um, up here. It's like a block of flats, council. <laughs> but no, no, it's all right. But um, yeah, this, uh, this, this, I know this uh, police station's been opened. This used to be, this is a museum now. But this used to be the old police station in the 19th century, uh, which is along here, um, which is now Lowood Museum. 
very old police station, uh, obviously, back in the day. Um, yeah, I'll show you some times just in case people want to see. Uh, Lowood Museum. And this is going back into the back garden. That's the NHS uh, building. Uh, just little walk-in miners. Um, and you've got like, a little garden around here. You can just stay away from people and just sit around and hope for the best. Uh, I used to sit here many a time before I used to go into the police station and be put back in a cell for a few hours, a few hours or, or even days. Uh, I didn't really care. Uh, that's when I was obviously a bad boy. Um, if we could if we could have got in, I would have got in, just to show you. Um, but my initials are probably in the cell, uh, cell seven I used to be in. Um, quite often I used to ask for it. I don't know why, it's just take the mick out of the police, really. Um, I don't take the mick out of all the police, don't get me wrong. Most police are okay. Um, but there's a lot that isn't, you know. They're all breaking the rules and laws and they make all their... Um, all their acts up and, and all that kind of stuff as they go along. So there are a lot of corrupt officers. I haven't had a problem with doing uh, audits. When I was at Bovenden Police Station, uh, no, Bovenden Prison, sorry, in Hertfordshire and uh, Hemel Hempstead, um, the guards come over, shook my hand, um, the gym instructor shook my hand and said, yeah, as long as you're not causing a problem and photographing cars, that's fine. So, yeah, I left me to it. Um, that was a f four or five months ago, I can't remember now. Um, but I'm hoping to get to Ireland. Um, maybe um, I'm taking my partner away in October to Amsterdam for a, a few days for uh, 40th. So probably before that, probably be September, that I'll go to, I want to go to Dublin and then Belfast um, to do audits on their prisons. As far as I know, no one's done it yet. So I'm hoping to do it. Um, a quick Ryanair hop, it'd be fine. It's not that ch uh, dear actually, it's quite cheap. Um, but I'll stay up there for a few days with my partner and uh, have a holiday in Ireland uh, while, we d while I do the audits. But that's going to be a couple of days of audits. So I'm looking to get out there quite a, quite a lot now, guys. Um, I wish I had more sub subscribes, but the problem is um, I haven't been able to get out th that much. Um, so anyone who is already subscribed, let people know and, uh, and let's do this because I want to do a live podcast um, on mental health, addiction and things like that, which is going to take off. I've got all the equipment, all the microphones and all that ready to go. I just need to uh, start the right time when certain people aren't on it. So, I, you know, obviously, so they don't take all my subs. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, that'll be coming up i've got to work out certain certain audits and how to do it on the computer and stuff like that uh, i'm new to it myself i've been doing it for about eight months but um i'm a big big follower for live free um and marty blagborough uh, they're my two favorites um ab you know i could uh, i don't think i'll sound like ab but um i'd like to meet him and do an audit with him um but yeah well done ab for uh for getting to 100,000, mate. Um, that's really, really good. Um, one day I'll be there, hopefully. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's, I mean, it's, you know, there's a problem. It's nearly nine minutes. I've been around Hoddesdon Police Station in Hertfordshire. It's been boarded up for a few years um, because of the cuts. Um, but this used to be a proper, op, you know, operational police station. Um, custody always was full. Uh, drug dealers and all that kind of stuff, murders. You name it. Um, but over the road a few years ago, about 15 years ago, there was a guy, um, I think it was about 100 yards from here, just over the road from here. Um, a guy just decided to kill the father and son, shooting point, point blank range in the house. He got away um, and the police were only over the road and they got over there and they missed them. But they finally got, uh, got them, which was good. It took them a while, but they did it. Um, but I'm hoping this one does reopen. The reason why I'm saying this is because we need little pre police stations like this. See, I mean, I wouldn't say this is big, um, but it's big-ish. You know, it, it can it can uh, take a lot of a lot of jobs away from other other units. But um, that's the government for you, isn't it? But 
Oh well. But anyway, I thought I'd do you a quick one. Um, I'll do another little walk around, just so you can see Hartford Police, uh, Hoddesdon Police Station. Sorry, I'm still asleep, I think. Uh, only took me about half an hour to drive, drive here. It's not too bad. Um, partner's at work, so it gives me something to do, I suppose. Right, I'll go round again and have a look of the outside and then back round and uh, we're good to go for hopefully, um, like I say, Ireland, uh, Ireland Police Station, Ireland Prisons, uh, prisons. I'll do a couple of uh, Irish police stations, um, but that's not on the cards um, at the moment. But I want to see if I can do Dublin uh, Ireland's prisons because they're big, <laughs> they're, they're uh, a lot different um, to what I'm used to. Uh, I went to Woodhill a couple of times, Woodhill Prison in Milton Keynes, um, it was alright, weren't too bad. Prison, some prison officers were corrupt but um, there was a lot of inmates who, who were bullies and stuff. Um, there's, there's the entrance again, well, that's the uh, interview entrance. I'll show you around to the front of the Hoddesdon police station, which is right there. But that's the offices up there where they do all their uh, looking around and bringing CPS to make sure that they can charge you and stuff like this rubbish. But nine times out of ten, it was no further action. So um, the police, if the police wanted, they'll try and get you something. I mean, I haven't, I, I haven't been in trouble for about 12 years now. Um, but they won't rub that off the record, will they? But yeah, here we are around the front again. There's two pins, obviously one, um, one for looking, like getting into the gate, main gate, the police officers will walk. Obviously this is where they drive up and put a pin in. Um, but yeah, this is the custody area, as you know. Um, so basically what happens is, they drive you in, you either park there, if they trust you, or park around the side near the uh, custody gate uh, entrance, uh, which I used to, they used to park up just there um, because I wanted a fag and they'd let me. So that was quite good. Um, I don't believe in the ban of cigarettes in police, uh, police stations and prisons. Um, I used to smoke in cells when it was allowed. Um, they got annoyed every time you asked for a lighter, but um, but that's the that's the way. But when they come up with the banning of it, I've, I'm okay with ban smoking, not smoking in restaurants anymore and pubs. That's cool. I'm not really a drinker, so I, I can't say that I'll do it. Um, but you know, if you uh, you know, you should be allowed to smoke in the cell still because it gives you something to do and it stops inmates um, becoming fragile, you know? Same as prisons, I don't think they should ever, ever have banned in prison because you're in there, you can't do anything. The only thing you've got is fags, you know? So I don't believe in the, in the banning in the prisons and the police stations, you know? Yeah, so that basically, um, I'm just walking up the hill now, and there's a nice property there. A nice property. Um, I don't know what what it is. It looks like it's like an old sort of courthouse, doesn't it? It's very old, I'd imagine. Um, that's quite nice. It's nice, uh, nice area. Uh, you got like like I say, you got the estate round here. That's a nice house, so I like that. And that that whatever that is up there. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah, no, looking around, around everywhere, it's, it's a housing estate around a police station. Um, I don't know what they're going to do to it. I don't know if they will eventually reopen it in a, in a few years' time. But um, it's just the way it is, guys. Um, you know, the government seem to pay for things that we don't want to, but when we want the money paid somewhere good, they don't do it which I don't get. Um, but again, we're little people, aren't we? So um, the government and the police and the law and all that kind of thing, they're against, uh, above us totally. Um, I wouldn't mind going, you know, to find some corrupt police officers, but the, the way I look at it, if you do that, you're just digging your grave because, you know, the police are always going to be better than you, always going to be there first. 
you're never going to beat the police. Um, so I rather do like stressful audits, i.e. Um, talking about certain things, but I don't like um, the fact, you know, that people got audit auditors go around um, following police or bringing them up, um, you know, saying they've done this, they've done that. It only takes a couple of uh, complaints, and then the police are knocking on your door, and then you, they'll put you in prison because they don't want to see you. You know, it gets you, gets you out of their hair, and they can do that. Um, no one's above the law, and no one ever will be. The police aren't even above the law, so but they try and be. You, you get nice, really nice police officers in uh, where I live. Police officers are lovely, um, but in Hartford and Ware and all that, they're, they're complete tossers. Um, oh yeah, well, there's a, a last minute for you guys. Remembering the victims of the Holocaust and worldwide genocide. That's really good. There you go. Good picture. Right, guys, that's my, at the end of my audit. 16 minutes, the longest one I've done, I think. Um, but, yeah, you guys take care. Please sub me, um, subscribe, or, and hit the like. Um, this is... Uh, I will be out on the road around August, September time. Um, I'm going on holiday next month to Cornwall. Um, I'll do a couple of audits around here, I think. Uh, if there's any prisons or not. Penzance, who knows. Um, but watch this space, and also... Um, I'm, I'm going to Amsterdam in uh, September, uh, October um, for work for my partner's 40th, 40th for a few days. So I'm going to try and find something Dutch around there um, after we celebrate her birthday. All right, thanks, guys. Anyway, take care, stay safe, and and go. You know, just watch it, share, um, and subscribe. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.